ultra bright. Welcome back to the studio. This is Easter weekend, and I just happen to have a Good Friday off, which not everybody does. And I was really surprised at that. Uh, the wife is working, and even the daughter is going to school today. Am I wrong to be excited about this? I mean, listen. Yeah. No doors slamming, no music, no showers being done, no vacuums running. I can create. What are we talking about today, guys? We are covering yet another field monitor by Andy Cine. Extremely excited when they reached out to me once again and asked if I would be interested in another field monitor. Now, for some of you, you might have seen my Andy Cine 6 Pro line, and that was done a year ago. If you have not, feel free to check out the video. This one, I think, is going to be worth it a year later. Now, don't worry, I will definitely be comparing the 6 Pro to the C5 because I still use to this day the 6 Pro until the C5 showed up. And I'm gonna tell you all about it. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Brannon No D. That's right, there is absolutely no D in this name, hence Brannon, not Brandon. Can I ask you a quick question? Are you subscribed to this channel? Because if you're not, you're not just doing me a favor, you'd be doing yourselves a favor as well. We have a ton of fun on this channel and I believe you guys need to be a part of it. Get on down there, hit my subscribe button, hit the bell, and don't forget to hit all to be notified in the next video I post. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive in and show you everything that comes in this box. All right, you're gonna get your traditional Andy Cine owner's manual. It's nice, it's uh, got some pictures, makes it real simplified to uh, get yourself kick-started on your product. They also throw in this little warranty card. They wanna know how everything is, pretty much if you got exactly what you expected out of the box. If not, you can reach out to them and they'll take care of you. You'll also get an Andy Cine fiber cloth for wiping off the monitor and the seal of approval, which I love. I love that when they stick that in the box, it just kind of gives you a peace of mind that your product has been tested and certified. Also coming in the box is a USB-A to a USB-C charging cable. And if you happen to catch my last year's video, that was a micro USB. I'm gonna show you that in a second. Then you'll get a 2200 milliamp lithium battery and something you guys are going to notice a lot differently of this battery versus the Pro. Oh hell, let's just show you now. Check it out. Okay, so you've got the same battery different thicknesses. Why is that? They have totally eliminated the charging adapter for the battery that comes with the 6 Pro. So you get your battery, charger. You don't need those anymore, guys. That's right. You have yourself a USB-C and a button to press to see how much charge you actually have. I think that is an incredible new feature and I support it 100%. 
Nobody wants to be carrying one of these around, especially it being a micro USB, right? USB-C, they're laying around everywhere, and now you just have to plug in the battery. You don't need the extra charger. However, they are still sticking in the box the micro HDMI to a full HDMI. That's fine for like my Sony A7C that I'm actually debuting in today's review for this Andy Cine to be hooked up. But for the ones that want to use their Sony a7S III, like I got, or a Canon or any other camera that you're going to use a full HDMI, you're going to have to purchase a full HDMI to an HDMI. I will leave all these links down in the description where you guys can pick this up. I highly recommend getting one of these coily styles. They're nice and short on the camera and they stretch out. It's just, it's a nice cable. You'll love it. Now on the Pro 6, you get this mounting bracket. The C5, you get this mounting bracket. Which one does Brandon like better? I'm definitely going with this small compact one because it's very easy to use. It's not as big and bulky. You don't have to worry about this lever here. It's very simple. You just screw it on. It's all in one piece. It's made extremely well and they even give you a Allen wrench key that you'll need to set the tension. Let's touch on the case that comes with the Andy Cine C5. You can tell just by the material made for this monitor that they really put their heart and soul into it from the zippers being a rubber tab to this beautiful uh, hard shell, but yet material case. And of course, it's got this black and red color set. Has a nice rubber handle with some fabric. But yeah, let's take a look at this. Opening it up, you have two compartments. You have this mesh breathable compartment to put all your accessories inside. Then you have this firm padding that goes over the monitor when you slide it in. So they've really thought of everything when it comes to their cases. They definitely have the right patent to keep your monitor safe and sound. All right, guys, let's talk about the Andy Cine C5. Check this out. Okay, right off the bat, you're going to see a thicker model than the 6 Pro. Okay, it's a little thinner. The reason that is, is there's an actual fan built in, and we're gonna talk about that in the specs. But I just wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison real quick. Now, don't let the size fool you. Looking at these side-by-side, -side, you would think that the 6 Pro is bigger than the C5, but that's not the case. They're both considered 5.5 inch displays, okay? All right, let's take a closer look at this C5 5.5 inch field monitor. At the top, you're gonna have your power button on and off. Then you'll have the built-in fan, the menu rocker, but fear not, this is definitely 100% touchscreen and we're gonna go over all those features later on in the video. Turning it to the side, you have more grates for the fan. You're gonna see that this has a lot of air vents because it needs that fan to cool it down because it does get so bright. You also have a quarter 20 thread for mounting. Flipping it to the bottom, on the far left, you'll have your DC in 12 volt, your DC out 8 volt, another quarter 20 mount, and a full SD for importing your LUTs. That's right, no micro SD card here, a full SD card, love that. Flipping it to the left side of the monitor, you'll have your full HDMI in, HDMI out, and a headphone jack. Turning it to the back side, you'll have your battery mount and your A and B transmitter mount. That's right, guys. They have thought of everything when it comes to you and your equipment being out there in the field. All right, let's go ahead and nerd out with me real quickly. I want to go over the specs on what this is capable of, and then we'll go ahead and give you a rundown of how everything works with a tutorial with yours truly. Or, of course, you could use my timestamps and get you where you need to be because I like to make things very convenient for my followers, such as today's sponsored video is by a platform I use daily, Artlist. Guys, if you are content creators, which I think some of you are probably watching this video, you have got to check out this platform. If you like the music I use in my videos, they have tons of songs to choose from of all genres. I will be sure to leave you all the details down in my description below and make sure to get yourself two free months on top of the one year subscription. All right, time to continue with the review. All right, with the C5 monitor, you're getting an ultra bright 3000 nit 
and auto dimming. Pretty cool. That supports a 4K 60 Hertz HDMI signal input and output. That's where all this ventilation comes into play is with their built-in advanced cooling fan system. This monitor will adjust accordingly from the moonlight or midday sun. As creators, we all loathe the midday sun. Do you know what I'm talking about? The 5.5 LCD high resolution is a 1920 by 1080p full HD with 368 pixels per inch. They've also equipped this with the smarter new Andy OS UI for absolute precision. So basically they've thrown a whole new software program into all their Andy Cine products going forward. It's awesome, you're gonna love it. This C5 is packed with so many features, you guys will not be without anything needed for out there in the field, I guarantee you. Such as focus assist, zoom, zebras, false color, waveform, audio meters, histogram, vector scope, anamorphic desqueeze, multi-views, analysis view, and a 3D LUT support that we mentioned earlier with the SD card, just to mention a few. All right, let's go ahead and show you guys how this mounts to my A7C, and I'm pointing up because it's the upper camera, so we're gonna have to switch views. Let's do it. All right, now that you have everything hooked up right, you can go ahead and press the button. You should see this little red dot turn green. There we go, let it go. And it'll fire up the Andy Cine software. This screen that you guys are looking at right now, I cannot emphasize enough. I really wish you guys were right here with me to see this in person because filming it from afar does it absolutely no justice. The screen on this is absolutely stunning. All right, right off the bat, you're going to hear the fan in the background and I apologize for that, but I, I have it set at 100% right now. And that's only because I'm gonna show you a few features on this. Obviously, we're not gonna go over every feature. This video would be much too long, but I will definitely go over the key features that you guys are gonna wanna know about. Right off the bat, you have a full screen showing your battery. Now there's two ways to open up this menu system. Number one is manually pressing really quickly on the menu rocker and that'll bring up your menus. To get rid of it, you press and hold it for a little longer, takes it away. Or you can double tap the screen and that brings up your menu or tap it once and it removes it. Let me show you guys something real quick before we get into the menu settings. Click off this and when you don't have anything engaged, if you take your finger and move it from the right screen and push up, you'll be able to turn the volume up or down. And then on the left side, same thing, but this time it changes brightness, high or low. Pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and start rolling through the menus here. First, you're gonna see waves. And once you click on waves, it brings you down another plethora of options that you can start using. Like analysis, once you click on that, you'll see that there is a red button that says off. You click on it, it turns it on green, and now you're able to see the analysis. Go ahead and shut that off. You have waveform, same thing, turn it on. Then we have vector scope, turn that on, and now your vector scope is displayed. You have histogram, same thing, turn it on. Now you have your histogram, a lot like what you'd use on your main camera. I'll be turning these off and on as we go through the menus. I don't want to have a bunch of settings on and confuse you guys. I wanna keep it as clean as possible. Then you have audio meters, click on that. We'll turn it on and then you get out of the menu. And now we have a audio meter that is calculating our voice up and down. Very nice feature to have when you have the headset plugged in and you just wanna make sure your audio signals are working well. All right, then you'll see this grayed out area with plus signs. Those are categories that have other options within themselves, such as assist, click on that, and now it opens up focus assist, zebras, check field, LUTs, etc. So let's go ahead and click on zebras. That is one of my favorite options to use. We'll go ahead and turn it on, and then you can increase or decrease the zebras how you wish. So there you go. All your zebra lines are within the blown out areas, and you can adjust your ISO as needed. But of course, we'll go ahead and turn that off for cleanliness. 
I mean, there are so many options in here, guys, that I just merely don't have enough time to explain each and every one of them. But I'm sure once you guys get involved and jump in this software, you are going to have yourself a field day. Uh, no pun intended. You have false color, another awesome feature to have. You can go ahead and turn this on. Now you've got your spectrum areas. Go back in, or you can use the ARRI. And again, you have plenty of options to work with. All right, let's move along. You have the LUT switch, which is nice. You have your S logs in there, and then you also have your LUT imports, which you'll be using your SD card for that. Nice feature as well. You have zoom, so you can manually zoom it. You have anamorphic on or off, pixel to pixel, image flip. It amazes me how they can stuff all these features into one little unit. It just blows my mind. Let's go into system. And now we're getting into the hardware of the system with volume, fan speed, languages, menu, firmware, and so on. Let's go ahead and click on fan speed. Now I have it at 100% like I told you earlier. You can adjust it from here, uh, higher or lower, but I like to keep it on 100%. It does get warm. You can literally feel it by hovering your hand over the monitor. Now keep in mind, you can definitely use the manual scroll wheel once you have your menus up and you can scroll through it and you can do everything manually, but why would you with this beautiful touch option. Another cool feature is the pinch to zoom guys. You can pinch and zoom it, move it around to see if you are in focus. Always love that. That was on the A6 Pro as well as the C5. Let's bring it right back. There we go. All right. One more thing to cover real quickly. Take your finger down at the bottom, drag it up, and now you have a quick menu. And these are some quick options that you can get to right away. You don't have to have it in the way of your field on the right side, or you can actually move it to the left side too if you wish. It is completely customizable to fit your needs. Now I did manage to step outside real quick for this review. I haven't had much time to test it like I would have liked, but it was good enough to give you guys an example of what it would look like with the C5 in sunlight. Now, even though, again, it didn't do its justice for video <laughs> performance, I'm telling you, it was extremely bright in the bright sunlight conditions. Unlike the A6 Pro, that you could barely see it at all unless you applied the sun hood, which made it 10 times better. So in all regards, getting the C5 versus the A6 Pro, you don't need to lug around a sun hood, although sun hoods do help for glare. I don't care which brighter monitor you're dealing with, having a sun hood definitely helps block out the glare. But as far as direct sunlight, you're gonna be just fine using the C5 with no sun hood at all. However, the A6 Pro, you're definitely going to need to apply that. All right, let's cover some pros and cons real quick, and then I can get you guys out of here to enjoy your Easter weekend. Pro number one, very bright, obviously. It is extremely bright, so bright, in fact, it gets hot to the touch. Another pro, love the touch screen on this. I found it very responsive. Seems like every time I was scrolling through or pushing any buttons for any menu items, it worked flawlessly. Another pro, absolutely love the new battery design on this. I wish I had all my batteries with this USB-C option to plug it in and not have an actual charging brick. It just minimizes and simplifies everything. All right, where there's pros, there's obviously some cons and I only have a few. Con number one, this monitor does get extremely hot. When I said it earlier and I'm saying it now, I mean it. It gets so hot that when you drag anything, like when I was scrolling up for volume control or brightness, if you leave your finger on the monitor for a certain amount of time, you will feel the heat and you'll wanna lift your finger off. However, that being said, if it does get too hot to the touch, you can always go back to the menu rocker and use it manually and you won't have any issues. But then again, that is defeating the purpose of this being a touch screen monitor. You wanna be able to use your touch screen, so. The last con actually pertains to the first con, and that is the fan being a little bit on the noisy side of things. With the 3000 nit brightness on this, you need a good strong fan for a cooling system, hence you're gonna have a little bit of noise there. So it's definitely something to keep in mind. All right, would Brandon recommend you guys the new Andy Cine C5 5.5 Ultra Bright 
field monitor. Now, however, I am not sponsored or endorsed through Andy Cine. They reach out to the channel, ask me to do you guys the review, and it's up to me to give you my honest opinion. It's that simple. Would I recommend this? Uh, absolutely, 100%. It definitely has a lot more features as the A6 Pro. However, it does come at a steeper price, okay? Right now, if you go down to my description below, I'm going to provide you with Amazon affiliate links. That's right, I do get a little kickback if you so desire to use my link. Much appreciated. It helps out the channel a little bit and it helps me make these reviews for you. Even though it's a year older, you can still pick up the A6 Pro for $159.99. So guys, that's a steal. If uh, you don't care about the ultra brightness, if you don't care about the updated software, if you don't care about the battery, if you just plain don't care and just need a good budget field monitor, get on down there, grab the A6 Pro. But if you feel the necessity to have a little bit better, then yeah guys, you need to pick yourself up the C5. Right now you can pick it up for $259.99, so yes, $100 more than the A6 Pro, but $100 worth it in my opinion. Well guys, that's it. That's gonna wrap up today's review, but before you leave, you know the drill. It's time for Brandon No D to open his fortune cookie. Let's see what his fortune is for the Easter weekend. Ready or not, here it comes. Be careful, straight trees often have crooked roots. Nice, get a warning for a fortune this time around. Hmm. I guess I need to be cautious. Guys, sorry, I hate to talk while I'm chewing. If you guys have lasted this long in the review, you're either family or there's yeah, definitely yeah, something yeah, yeah. wrong with you, but hey, I'm no judge. Thanks so much for watching. Keep creating. Don't ever give up. Hit that subscribe button. Catch me in my next video.